Hi guys, it's me again. Now, mostly fixed. I am no longer sick. My voice is still kind of weird, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. So, the race for the Titan has finally come to a conclusion, and not a good one. So, just to jump right in, everyone knows about the whole Ocean Gate submersible. A sub that was supposed to give a tour of the Titan. I mean, the Titanic's wreckage. And there was five people on board. Um, all of them were very rich people. No, four of them were rich people. And the CEO, which was also piloting it. And just today, it was revealed what happened and the outcome of it. So, to begin by timeline-wise... They started their descent, and at about an hour and another half hour, nearly two, uh, the submarine lost its communications with the Polar Prince, which is basically the mothership. And it, they were essentially exchanging messages and everything, you know, communication until eventually it went blank. This started a race, a global international race, to try to find the tourists who were stuck in the submarine and it was intense because the world was watching in real time and the days kept going by and the more frantic it got and eventually there was countdowns as to when the oxygen of the of the titan was going to be depleted and so they went down with four days of oxygen, and after four days at around this Thursday at around 3 a.m., 4 a.m., it's when they expected that they, that the oxygen had just, like, they've run out of it, and they started working even harder, and eventually they did find the debris of it. I believe they found the back of the hole and after a little bit more examination they found out that the sub imploded in an hour and 45 minutes this goes in the timeline of when comms went missing so it the cause has been determined to have been debt and essentially it did some sort of damage to the hole which then made it implode and for those of you who don't for some reason don't know what imploding means imploding literally means that it blows up but inside implode and when it's because of there's different kinds of implosions but this one was most likely one of those caused by water pressure because it is extremely extremely deep and the water pressure mixed with like air and other stuff would have like lit it on fire or something like that and then like crushed them within like less than a second so if that makes anyone feel better it was instantaneous it wasn't something that they suffered they didn't have to go through drowning or asphyxiation it was quick and there is most likely not going to be another effort to try to grab bodies at that point they just add to the titanic's kill count and that is the thing that was just recently confirmed this morning at around it, not morning it was in like 1 p.m no 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 at around 11 when they found out and then they confirmed it a few minutes later because it circulated on on the social medias because the family was informed first and then obviously that spreads and then here we are so yeah all five passengers were instantly killed and something that they describe as a catastrophic implosion and the youngest one was 19 years old the rest were millionaires in their 50s and 60s who wanted to explore it and paid the price for it i feel bad for the families and for the 19 year old who decided that this was a good idea I don't want to blame, but this really wasn't a good idea. 
I mean, the submarine is being piloted by like a Logitech like F710 gamepad, which is an like an off-brand Xbox controller. And their sales skyrocketed recently because of it. You can find reviews of it. Everyone was just making light of the situation. And I really don't care. I thought it was funny. But that's essentially what happened this this uh, morning. So that whole race was, I wouldn't say it was for nothing, but they were dead on the day that they descended. So it's been two to th no four days since they passed away may their souls rest in peace and then right over here they said that here you go according to the company's website provides crude submersibles for commercial products and scientific research another detail that i want to add on is that other than the fact that the rest of the sub wasn't built for that kind of depth the window wasn't either if I am correct, it was the window, the singular window was built by to withstand 1,300 of the units of pressure. And they were descending to a place where it was at 4,000. So the moment that any of that would have given out, yep, an implosion was essentially inevitable. The whole sub was built off of like metal pipes and just secondhand stuff like stuff you can just go to Lowe's and, and like make up in your backyard that's essentially the hole itself was actually made by NASA and this other company just somehow like keep them quote unquote safe but the CEO did not care about safety because an employee got fired for calling them out for saying that the sub wasn't safe that it was just a tragedy waiting to happen and even tourists who went down or have done this ex expedition and came back have always like encountered sort of difficulties like communications that were lost within like the first like hour of descent there was another trip where they they got lost for six hours and then they had to ascend there was another case where the floaties or whatever that keeps it like up one like got detached so they had to fight to get it there and the co was just completely irresponsible and just lacked the safety of whoever and clearly himself as well and he even at one point complained that that the safety rules were getting annoying and that it, they were obscenely safe. I think those are his words. He did use obscenely. So it's an overall mixed situation. I mean, it is sad because people oh, passed away. But then again, this is one of those situations where I think it's like you, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. I think the only person that I don't like think it applies to is a 19 year old who most likely got pressured by his dad to go but yeah we all know how that turned out so that's essentially everything i can really say about the actual accident there's a few more details that i want to cover soon about the ocean gate the titan other than the fact that they found the hole and everything else it, for, throughout the whole days, it just basically descended. The debris descended. And it, there's also people questioning about what was the banging if they were already dead. And some are theorizing that it was the ex not explosion, my bad, the implosion of it. So, right here, five more victims caused by a Titanic. And then it... As usual, some people were saying that it was the curse of the Titanic that they were doomed to begin with. And, yep. Well, all that's really to be said is thank you to the to the rescuers, to whoever put in the efforts. Because, again, this was an international level rescue and a race. And it was also a countdown. So, yep, that's the whole situation. Hopefully, this was somewhat helpful to explain, even though I didn't go into much detail. 
So yeah, guys, I'll just see you on the next one. And if there's any updates, I'll give some.